Hey there everybody, welcome to TJ's RC. Today we're gonna connect the Castle Link app on our smartphone to the Castle B-Link Bluetooth adapter that we previously installed on the TRX4. There's a companion video to this one of how to get this installed on your truck. If you need to know how to do that, there'll be a link to that video in the description and at the end of this video as well. So if you already got that part done, then go ahead and take your smartphone, head over to your app store and download the Castle Link app. Once you have that installed, you're gonna need to power up the RC, make sure that the red light comes on on the B-Link, check for the flashing blue link on there as well. Now go ahead and open the Castle Link app. This screen will look a little bit different if you've never connected your Castle Link app to a B-Link before, but you're gonna to wanna to click on the button that says Link New Controller. Now this screen here shows you exactly how the device is set up on your truck. It links directly between the ESC and the receiver. So if you already got that done, hit the next button. If you did the previous steps correctly, then you should see at the top under B-Links in range, the name of the ESC that you currently have in your rig. Mine is a Sidewinder 4, so we're gonna click on that. It'll say connecting. And if you haven't done this yet, you'll have to type in the passcode. The default passcode is 1234. So if you haven't changed the passcode, then you'll enter that. But if you've already set this up with a different passcode, then you'll want to type that passcode in now. It will load software and then it will load the settings from the ESC that it just connected to. If you want to set up a vehicle or save a vehicle, you can do that. Otherwise, just click the one-time link and you'll get to this screen here. We're going to click the top button called controller settings. And now on this screen, we've got all of the different settings we can change. Cutoff voltage. I always leave that set to automatic LiPo. LiPo volts per cell, I like to have it at 3.4 because I don't like being in the habit of running my batteries down super low. For reverse type, because this is going into a crawler, I leave it set to crawler reverse. Idle, error beeps, I'll just leave those in the default positions. Brake amount, I set that at 50. And I have my drag brake set at 70%. Because of the brushless system I'm running, that's more than enough power to hold the truck on a hill. But if the system you're using requires more drag brake, then you can adjust that. And drag brake ramp setting. I really like this setting. If you are setting this up for a slow crawler, you might want your drag brake ramp set to very fast. So as soon as you let off the throttle, it instantly engages the drag brake. However, most of my running is actually on trails, and when you're cruising down the trail and let off the throttle, you don't want it to instantly lock up because then it can tumble forwards or break parts if you were going fast. So I have my drag brake ramp set to very slow. So when you let off the throttle, it slowly applies the drag brake. And then you get the power settings, start power. I have start power set to high, max power set to 100, and punch control, I have that disabled. So it doesn't do any limiting at all when I mash the throttle. And torque control is disabled. That's probably more for a racing setup of some kind. And for the advanced settings, these are all set to the defaults. Motor direction, normal, motor type, brushless. When you're running a brushless system in a crawler, you want your timing set to lowest possible. That gives you the best efficiency and you don't need a few extra RPM on the top end when you're crawling, which is what you would get if you increased the timing, but you'd also lose some low end power. And throttle curve, this is what I'm running for a throttle curve right now. I have a similar looking brake curve, which because I'm running crawler reverse, the brake curve means how reverse power is applied when you go into reverse. And that is all of the settings that the Sidewinder 4 has that I use. And you scroll your way back to the top, hit send settings, connects, shows sending and finished. And then you'll hear the controller restart and your truck's good to go. When you're done, you can just back out, close the app and just like that, you use your smartphone to adjust the settings in the controller without having to be anywhere near a computer. If you have any questions or comments about the app, drop them in the comments down below. There you go. That was pretty quick and easy, wasn't it? You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching TJ's RC, and we'll see you next time.